trying to give it a little bit of sauce, you know. So right now I'm just kind of like adding some vocals, vocal chops to, um, to like the sounds that I got going on right now. My name is Kwabana Anfo and my stage name is Black Pages. I'm originally from Accra, Ghana. Um, Black Pages came from me trying to find myself and um, me every time being on that stage and having people taking people on the journey with my music so every page is every page is a different feeling different emotions to get through my, my journey of what i feel when i when i play and black is standing for black music and promoting black music globally i play afro house um tribal music afro beats and you know anything that is related to africa Yo, my name is Yao. Um, a lot of people call me Yao Apia. Basically, you know, from Ghana, West Africa. Pages, man. You know, it's crazy. You know, um, it's just like a brother. You know, waking up, working with a brother every single day, and then watching him. You know, do whatever he likes to do. And I see him play, and I just look at him for like I'll be part. Of, you know, helping him grow as a DJ, as a producer. I love him, you know, as a brother, you know, and um, I support him. So I've always wanted to work with him um, since, you know, we, um, we came to the U.S. My name is Ruth Lietzo, and my relationship to Pages is, first, I'm like a sister, and I currently work as his assistant, accountant. I am the background person to everything Afrogogo, Black Pages, Tribal, and Afrobashment. Yeah! That's going crazy. Woo! That's going crazy tonight. So right now, we're getting ready for South Check. We're getting ready for the lights, lights work screen. So right now, we, we, we got a bird cage and everything before we even try to do South Check or anything, you know, clear up the stage, make sure it looks very, very good, you know. So when the people come, they're gonna have an amazing time tonight. Yeah, tonight is Valentine's Day, yeah? So we're gonna have a good time. You never stick? <laughs> no. It's brand new. Like, bro, like the only time we set it up was in a, uh, was at, at, at the black party, you remember? Yeah. Is it easy set up? It is set up. No, okay, so I think what it is is what well, should you see the bar right there? So you love it like two. And then you see the bar? Yeah, paint to just hang the table. Yeah, yeah there's paint on the yeah. side. In there, there's in there. I just need two tall ones. You know? What made me want to be a DJ was it was uh, it was some guys, some two brothers in my neighborhood in Ghana. And they used to bring out like this cell system out every Sunday. And I was and I and like they used to play music and like the whole neighborhood like the whole neighborhood knew them because they used to entertain us. So I was like, yo, when I grow up, I want to entertain people just like that. You know, so just seeing that and them doing their thing and people enjoying themselves and having a good time, and that's what I, I, I told myself I wanted to do. And I knew and I, and I knew I was destined for that. My first gig was definitely when I was in high school and I was in the 10th grade. And I believe one, I believe one of my friends, aunties out here in LA was having a party, right? And like a baby shower or whatever. And they didn't have anybody to play music. I mean, they didn't have no speakers, they didn't have anything. They, they couldn't afford it. And one of my cousins, he was like, yo, I think you should come play the party. Cause he knew that I want to be a DJ. He, so he's the one that actually motivated me. He's like, yo, I think you should come and play. So I was like, I was like cool. So I, 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 I took my laptop that I always have in my room. I had the software called Virtual DJ. So I came, set up, I had my room speakers, put it, put it there. It was loud enough to, you know, to keep the party vibe. It was about 50 people, kept the vibe going. So I plugged, I plugged my computer and started playing. People came for requests. They were like, oh yeah, you, you have this song? Oh my God, good, play it. So I was like, so I, everybody was like excited. I was playing the music. I, you know, I didn't know what I didn't know what I was doing, but I knew that I was playing the right music for the people. A lot actually goes into this. It's not just 
have the party and the light. It's a whole lot of setups uh, from DJ booths, from, from DJ production, from sound check. So we're about to run on sound check right now. Um, it's going to take a minute, but I'm going to get back to you guys. I'll see you guys in a minute. I got to go now. Boss, are you like the tech guy for us? Uh, Who's the tech guy? We need the sound to be right, you know, we need, the, we need the visuals to be right, we need to see how the, the, the lights are going to look. Nobody's here, bro. We, 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 they do, but we, we don't know whether it works or not because there is nobody here to answer our questions. Alright. We're just waiting on them. I guess they're running late. Now we have a lot of struggles, like booking the places, booking event uh, backgrounds, you know, um, just just the locations to actually, you know, put some stuff together. It's hard. You can book somebody, and the next 20, 30 minutes, you get a call, hey, um, your booking has been canceled because somebody's putting big money on the table. And then we have to go back to the zero scratch, and, you know, we have to do this thing again. But it's been motivation, you know, we learn from our mistakes every single day. And um, it's been, and also sometimes, you know, we come to an event, everything is set up and then things are not working the way it needs to be working and that's when frustration sets in because it's actually my job you know to make sure sound is good lighting is good so it's, it's a coordination we're coordinating you know towards each other so there's been a lot of problems we, we encounter a lot of problems but i mean at the end of the day uh, we fight it true because we're fighters he's he's a fighter he's a fighter um, i'm a fighter too you know um, we, 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 we make it work, we make it work, and um, the successful of the event is what we actually matters to us, you know. How Pages is, is that he is very organized, um, which I know from a couple of bosses that I've worked with, it's sometimes hard if the bosses are not organized. He's always um, willing to hear you out. Um, he seeks to get advice from his team members and um, we all come together and make a decision and go forward. So organization and um, him being very open-minded to get other people's advice is what I really like about his work ethic. So we finally get the ball rolling out here. We finally get the ball. We got one, one in the back. So, so when I'm DJing a party or I'm performing at an event, I get excited because the energy that people feel me, the way that people are dancing, it just takes me to a place where I just want to keep going and not stop. And because seeing people happy on the dance floor makes me happy, it, it, it makes my it makes me know that I'm doing something right, that I'm making somebody's day, I'm making somebody's night. Maybe somebody can go through something during that day or be going through something in that moment where I make them feel good and forget about their problems. A successful event is sell it out, basically. <laughs> and then after the event, you can know, basically know everybody's happy. You know, people don't really want to leave. They still want more music. You know, people chanting his name, black pages, black pages. And it's all smiles that makes you feel good. Like, you can just imagine, we're from Africa, man. We're from Ghana. And and we, we're taking over, you know, this Afro beat world, you know, um, Afro house thing here in the U.S. It's been a big competition, but, you know, we're still, we're still all, holding it down for, for Africa, for Ghana, you know? What I want people to feel after my event is a feeling that 
they've never had anywhere. Like, the, it makes them feel that, you know, like, I came out, I had a good time, I worked out. I want people to feel like they worked out. Like, they, they, they were in a place of, like, imagination where they have never been. We're looking to change the world with our music, where we come from. It's not been that easy. We have the parents that supported us, some did not support us. Because in Ghana, you have to, um, you have to go to school to become an engineer, a doctor, and we chose to do music, you know? We chose to, to DJ and stuff, you know? So we cannot even go home, you know? Um, our reports were bad, you know, but you have to sneak. But uh, we want to thank God, you know, for everything and then, you know. So hopefully we're looking forward to change the world with our music. And we are here, you know, Black Pages, you know, our PR, you know, we're changing the world together. <laughs> I like people to support me by, you know, actually coming to my events, supporting, being in the audience and enjoying themselves. Not actually showing that they're enjoying themselves, but enjoying themselves, you know, and being there and supporting, sharing my events, sharing my, my music and um, telling people about Black Pages. Where I see Pages heading in his career is um, definitely being a huge artist and a leader and a pioneer for African music and artists. And how I will help that mission is by just servicing and staying true to the people, giving back, um, creating not only entertainment and a vibe but literally building a huge community and family because at the end of the day it's like we're all one my ultimate dream is to inspire people all over the world with what i do as a musician and a dj um, i want a kid in africa in china in dubai wherever or anywhere in the world and say yo i definitely want to do what he's doing or i definitely want to follow my dreams like this is who I want to be or this is who I look up to. I want somebody out there, I want to inspire them and help them follow their dreams as well too. You just have to stay focused.